Hey everyone, I'm back again with the Hobel VTE2. And, um, you know, so far everything's been puppies and rainbows and unicorns and how great it is. Uh, but I wanted to get into, you know, at this point I'm pretty much done with the build. It's ready to run. Uh, but I wanted to get into what I found and don't like on this car. Um, and I mentioned a couple of these things in pre prior videos, but just going to have this video solely about what I don't like. And um, before I get into it, don't get me wrong, I, I, I do like this car. And um, I think out of the box, it's better than the Limitless. But um, it's not perfect. And nothing ever is. So, um, you know, take all of this as a grain of salt. So one thing... Uh, would be this front body mount system um, you know it's just plastic super flexible um, similarly on the bottom uh, you know making a splitter here would be a little challenging you'd have to maybe attach it on the sides where it's raised a little higher um, but it's angled so getting that flat would be a challenge I think creative designs you know are going to have to be done to get a diffuser on the rear and uh, really for all the people that make chassis i don't know why everybody cuts like this why not bring it straight up and straight across like you're leaving room here and this huge opening in the back um, and probably even some here could be filled in um, all these little openings here is a bit excessive too we don't need all that um, if you want to reduce weight, you know, maybe carve it out on the top side where the battery sits. Um, so some things I don't like. The motor mount, uh, which you can't see it very well with my spur in here, it's made for M3 screws. We're talking about these little guys. So you're going to have two of these tiny little screws holding a motor that can output 10 horsepower. Um, no. I, I run the 8 millimeter shaft on these more powerful motors, and I always get M4 mounting screws. Uh, so I had to drill out the motor mount to fit M4 screws in there. Um, so that's one thing. If you're going to run the motor in this rear position, I ended up having... Well, let me say this would be for drag guys only or bashers. If you want to run the 48 tooth spur like I've got here, I had to cut... An additional window for the gear there for whatever reason the openings right for all the motor positions except when you have it flipped this way it's it's fine if you have it in the front but you can't run a 4070 in this front position you'd have to run it in that second position 4060s 4050s 4040s all that'll work and if you're drag racing I haven't never done drag racing maybe lighter motors is a better thing anyway possibly I, I don't know um, let's see, what else? I mentioned before the the shock body is not threaded all the way down. This is about as far as it goes down. Um, although I, I love the feel of the shocks, the uh, valving, everything there is pretty good. Um, like most RCs, there's a lot of shimming you're going to need to do. Um, the other thing, it's a small thing and a cheap fix, but they're, uh, hex nuts do not have uh, the little cuts in it to where it stops it from loosening and, and these smooth wheel nuts like this will definitely back off at some point and there's nothing worse than putting you know thousand dollar RC car down the road and one of your wheels flies off and you crash that thing really hard uh, so that's that's one thing there the other thing this is a on-road platform, and most on-road cars have a slope at the front. Um, so I expect these may work okay, maybe not. And then it's going to you know, level out. It's going to have the canopy where it looks like a driver's canopy. And then it's going to flatten out at the rear. It may have a little ramp, ramp up as like a wing. These body mounts are like for monster trucks. And if you want to lower this, you have to chop it off. Um, so then, you know, if you 
say, hey, I cut a little bit too much. I want to raise it back up a notch, but you can't. You already you cut it. Um, versus if you look at the design that Arma has um, on the Cratons and I think the Outcast and even the rear of the Limitless, these longer ones are, are like what you get on the Limitless, you remove the screw and then that um, post there can just slide through. And it also, um, you know, would stand away from the, the shock tower a little bit. So my plan is to put something like this on here. It looks like the uh, hole placement is very close. I may, we may have to kind of force one of them a little bit, but I think it'll work. Um, the front, I'm not sure. I have two thoughts. One is to replace this with something else or, you know, mount one of these guys here on the back side and move this shock over one, one hole to, to give myself a little space here. And I probably have to make my own holes. Um, so I wanted to show you this. I think, you know, you guys are on Facebook. I don't do Facebook, but, uh, there's another body mount style. And this comes from like real cars, one-to-one -one race cars. Um, so they'll make their bumpers and fenders and different parts easy to detach. And you can find these on Amazon. I forget the exact size of this, but I think it's like an inch and a half. So this is what you would see on the top of your body. I mean, that's going to be a, a big hole, but it's, it's pretty awesome how it works. It, it literally just will, let's see if I can do this one handed. It will clip on there. And remember, this is for like real cars, so it can hold a ton of pressure. And then as soon as you're ready to release it, you push the button and it releases that uh, little ball there out of the cup. Um, there's some hardware, you know, washers and nuts, and then whatever is excess at the bottom, you just probably cut off. But a metal piece like that would be really sturdy. Um, and... I think aerodynamically too, this this isn't so bad either, um, especially when that, that ball in the socket is actually filled in, and that you know that top's pretty flush there. Um, so aerodynamically, that's that's not so bad. Um, so anyway, just wanted to show you guys that if you hadn't seen them already, um, some sort of a quick release product and. Um, so that, or maybe these Arma mounts, I'm sure people will figure out other things. Um, you know, I was trying to install this Ferrari body, the uh, front, and you can see, look at the rear body post, like, are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. And then the fronts happen to line up right on like the side of these fake air vents for the hood, which is terrible. I mean, you can't over here, you know, going sideways, you can't really get a hood pin in there. So I think if I move it to the shock tower, which it lines up right about here, I can have one on each side. And I think that's going to work for me. Um, anyway, I wanted to share with, with you guys a couple things that I've found so far that I kind of don't love. I also don't love that they put that zero degree hinge pin block. I think they should have made that the optional part. Uh, just a side note, I tried to take the uh, set screw out of this and pull these ends out of the aluminum center. Even took a torch to it. I couldn't get them out. I couldn't get them to even twist. Um, and of course, I didn't want to break it, so I kind of gave up. But it was it was on there. Um, sure, I'm going to get asked about it. But this is literally just an aluminum 90 degree angle uh, piece of metal you can get at the hardware store and then you know 3m tape it on here you could pick the car up by it it's it's on there so well that it keeps your wires short um, of course just consider where your gears are and you might want to do something to protect these wires but um, I relocated the radio box too over here just to make it look clean um, and then plan is to run both four cell batteries over here on the front side but 
that is it. Uh, you know, I still like the car and um, still very happy about it, but wanted to give you guys some notes on, on what I'm a little disappointed with. I'm anxious for maybe PPS to make a motor mount. Um, I know that Scorched makes one. But theirs is for like 40 through 49 millimeter motors. And at some point, I want to put a fifth scale motor in here. They have that roto lock uh, mount for it. So hopefully, PPS or Scorch can get the uh, 56, 58 millimeter motor mounts for this. And uh, I think we'll be golden. I know Hobau makes a, a fifth scale mount for it too, but I'm sort of not trusting there aluminum parts so much uh, since there's so much flexibility in this one all right uh, thanks again for subscribing um, pretty soon I'm going to start showing my uh, 200 mile per hour project car it's coming along um, kind of playing with paint schemes for the uh, carbon fiber body so stay tuned for that thank you